All right, YouTubers, here's an update video. This hood was painted. I'll put a link in how bad it looked before, but this has now been two years using the Rust-Oleum Turbo Spray, and I think overall it looks really good. Obviously, it's a rattle can paint job, and again, the link will be at the end of this video to when I did it. I sanded it down to bare metal, primed it, did all kinds of stuff. It took me forever. If you wanna watch that, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, it's been five months, so it's really filthy, but I'm gonna clean it today. But before we get started, I'm gonna try to show you, to keep it real, some of the defects, okay? So, let's take a look at it. All right, so when I did this, I had a lot of people comment that like, I was doing it wrong and blah, blah, blah. Um, if you can see, this is a 99 Leisure Travel, so this paint job is 20, is very old. And this portion of the paint job is about two years old. So when I did it, people were like, oh, it's gonna rust, it's gonna blah, blah, blah. It hasn't, as you can see, and it's filthy. We'll see how it looks after I clean it. Um, little points around here. I couldn't figure out how to get the darn emblem off, so I just touched up around here. I think it's all right. Again, we'll see when it's clear. Um, I had to touch up here, you can see that. It's a bad spot. I, it was a row. It was a chip or something like that. So I touched that up. You know, it is what it is. It's a 1999. It's it's now 2023. So it's old. Um, I just now I'm letting it dry. I touched up a spot here from another road chip that I hadn't seen. But I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna wash it. This is just dirt. But overall, it came out pretty good. I also did another video. Maybe I'll find the link for that. This said um, my bumper had gotten all tiger striped. So I painted it. And it looks fantastic. Again, five months sitting out here. It's really dirty. But we'll check it out when it's all washed up and clean. And as you can see, there's, there's chips. There's all kinds of stuff. 24 years old. But I think it looks pretty darn good. And it'll look even better when that little touch-up I did just will dry and uh, we get it washed and waxed. Another thing that people said that I was doing wrong is I did not clear coat this. And that comes back to when you see here, even after this is aged two years, this doesn't match up perfectly. I mean, you can see the difference. This is a lot brighter than this is. I didn't clear coat it because I just thought that was going to amplify the difference even more than it already is. So I've basically waxed it a couple times and a couple times a year and I think it's holding up pretty good. You can see if you look along here, I don't know how you can see it, there I painted this and I think I counted 14 or 15 small hail dings. I didn't fill them, I just sanded and painted it and the paint has held onto there too. So for at the time, I think it was like a $10 can of um, turbo spray and a can of primer. I don't know. I think this looks pretty darn good. Again, I'll try to find a picture and show you here of what it looked like before I started. Or if you click at the end, you'll see the transformation from the video I made before. So again, two years homemade paint job. I think it looks good and we'll see if we can get it looking better. This is what I just used to do the touch-up. It's also what I used around the emblem and that other spot that got a road chip. Just that little, you know, like a thing of white out. This is the wash I'm gonna use. Nothing fancy, just turtle wax. And then I'm gonna wax it with Meguiar's Pure Wax. That's all I'm gonna do. All right, here we go. So here are some quick pictures of the process of going through this. It was a mess, it was a lot of work. It was tearing everything apart. I originally wanted to paint it in place, but I ended up taking it off, which is a much better way to do it. But if you wanna do something like this, if you watch the video link at the end, I say a million times, I've never done this before, so anybody can do it, I think. I know this video might not be the best place to say this, but the way to keep a 24-year-old van looking good is you gotta clean it a lot. This is a paint defect with cheap paint jobs, but I wash and wax this a lot. 
So yeah, this is the part, the boring part of RV life that nobody and van life that nobody talks about. But you do a lot of cleaning and stuff like that. Most people are just nice enough not to put it on YouTube. All right, that's dry. We'll let it get good and good and dry. All right, this doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to look. I didn't notice it being like this before the trip. Hmm, starting to come off. It'd look really good. But I still have the can, so maybe I'll give it another coat. But I'll tell you, the Rust-Oleum, the turbo spray on the hood looks better than that bumper did. And honestly, I'm shocked by this because last time I remembered, this looked really good, but you can see it's kind of flaking off. It gonna need another coat. It did looked really good, looked brand new. You can only ask for so much, I guess, right? Okay, we gotta wax this sucker. The uh, the repainting with this trim and bumper paint, which again, I'm kind of surprised by this. I expected it to look a lot better than it does today. And it looked good for so long, but it's not gonna happen today because it's gotta get all taped off and all that. It's a whole thing, but I think I'll be redoing it with this. So, that had a thumbs up for the bumper, and now it's kind of like that after two years. Obviously still better, because it was all tiger striped it, and it looked funnier than heck. But, a little disappointed. Alright, normally when I do the whole van, I use a electric buffer, obviously. But, what I have here is just a pad from one of them, and I'm just going to put it on by hand, since I'm just doing the hood. I'll be doing the entire van here pretty soon, but again, like I said earlier, I'll be nice and I'm not going to have to put that on YouTube. Maybe like 10 seconds. All right, I put that on pretty heavy because as much as anything, it's protective. I'll let it haze up for a second and we'll take it off. All right, again, put it on kind of heavy to protect it. And now we're going to take it off. Pretty good. Again, this is like a $20 job in total. Two years ago. Came out pretty good. Hopefully I can get a couple more years out of it. And at worst, if it starts looking crappy, a couple, three more years, I'd just do it all over again. But I think it looks pretty good. Missed the spot. So, I think if you want to do this, even two years later, I recommend it. Now, you, you're not going to a paint shop, so you can't expect that. But, I mean, for the price. And an older vehicle that you don't need to look perfect, but you want it to look better. Rust-Oleum Turbo Spray. That's a definite thumbs up. All right, I hope this was helpful. Maybe a little informative. Maybe tell you something you want to do or something you don't want to do. But, again, I got no complaints whatsoever for the price I paid to get this done. And I'm really hoping I can find the old pictures because I'm on a new laptop. But, oh my God, it was, a, it was disgraceful, the condition it was in before I did this. All right, hope it was helpful. Have a great and wonderful day.